Hey guys, Cast here, and welcome to this video today. This is my first video on this channel. This can be my graphics channel. I'm going to be showing you guys today how to do a head swap. This is going to be a really, really quick example. I'm not going to do it the neatest thing ever, but I'm just going to show you a really quick way to do it because I know a few people have been asking me how I do the ones that I do in that. And this is really simple to do a head swap, really. You just need, it's mainly looking for the body uh, that looks kind of similar uh, to your next player or to the other player to make it look realistic. But the first thing I'll do is I'll cut out the original player's head there and I'll copy and paste it back just so I can see the sort of size of the head and where it's placed uh, just for future reference obviously I'm going to use Suarez in this one here so then I'll go ahead and I'll start cutting out Suarez's head I do use the polygon lasso tool I know some of you use the pencil some of you use different tools I just use this one I don't know why I know it's probably not the most efficient tool ever but I am comfortable using it it's what I used when I started so it's kind of what I've just stuck with but then I do cut out the head there as shown uh, I'll copy and paste that and then I'll delete the other layer there and then what I'll do is I'll just kind of use this um head now and I'll kind of uh, correct it to the right size. You can use control T uh, to change the size if you want to. And that's kind of a, a rough size. And I'll put it behind that first layer here uh, to see how that looks. And I'm just going to make it a tiny bit smaller there to make it look a bit more real. Uh, and as you can see there, flicking them both between. It looks pretty good uh, already so far. Nothing too bad. Doesn't look too out of place. Uh, and the skin colour and that kind of uh, matches as well. The next thing I'll do is I'll grab this and I'll kind of change the colour of the kit. Uh, not colour of the kit, sorry, I won't change the colour of the kit, I'll change the way the kit is. You can show, look how I do this, I go onto the uh, little thing at the top there, change it to custom, and I'll just kind of drag it uh, to his neck there uh, as well. Uh, and then the next thing I'll do is I'll just make sure I cut out uh, this bit here. I'll turn on the opacity to make sure I do cut out the right bits, uh, just so it looks like the shirt's going behind him, as you can see there. And not really too much to cut out on that side, just a tiny weeny bit uh, there anyway. And then what I'll do is I'll just put, put that back up. And you might think the neck looks weird. It doesn't fill in. This is something that's quite easy to fill um, as I just zoom in on it here. You've got a few tools here. They have added this new tool in uh, Photoshop 2020, which you can use. And you can just kind of color in there and it will color in as much as it can. And that already looks quite realistic there. As you can see, it's not quite going to reach there as much as I click it. Uh, so then what I'll do is I'll go and use this clone stamp tool, uh, which can also be used for the whole thing if you wanted to. And I'll just kind of fill it in there. And then where it gets a bit darker, I'll use the darker bit there. And I'll kind of fill that all in. And right there, it does look more realistic. What you can go and do after this is add some shadow and stuff. I'm moving it down a bit to make it look a bit better in my opinion. But you can go and use a bit of shadow if you want to and stuff like that to colour in the neck. I normally will do this and I did do it for the thumbnail. But uh, I didn't do it for the tutorial. I'm not too sure why I recorded all this and was like, bruh, I could have done so much more. And I know I could have done so much more. But this was just a quick example to show you what you can do with this. If you're adding effects over the player and stuff, you might not need to add all the shadow and stuff. But you can add shadow in uh, to make it look more like him. And as you can see, the bottom of the neck needs a bit of shadow on the opposite side. You can lighten the other side and make it look pretty decent. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully it will help you guys out. And obviously I'll be using that for a SIG, for example, if I wanted to. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.